If you're half an hour late to your meeting and you set your watch a half an hour back, that doesn't change that in the world it's actually going back in time. No, you're just, you're just fiddling with the sign for it. The world remains the same way. The watch is merely a sign, is a symbol to us as to what's taking place in the world. In a similar way, the planets, the stars, the astrological influences, they themselves don't have spiritual energy, but they are showing us what spiritual energy is taking place in the upper world. There's a very famous word heavily associated with astrology that many people don't even realize, but they're using it all the time in the Jewish context. When a person has a joyous occasion, bar mitzvah, wedding, bris, what's the first thing your grandmother says to you? Mazel tov. The word mazel Mazel, is, what does it mean? What do, what do most people think that it means? Uh, luck. But mazel is also very much connected with the constellations. Mazel is, is a reference to astrological influence. It's written in our Jewish literature that the month, the day of the week, and even the hour of the day each contain a specific energy of astrological influence that impacts a person. Not only that, but we see that even this idea comes and expresses itself in Jewish law. Let's give some examples. We're told in Jewish law that the month of Adar, which is the month of Purim, is the mazel of the Jewish people is better. It's a higher mazel, it's a luckier time, it's an auspicious omen. We're told likewise that the month of Av is a time where the mazel of the Jewish people is less. And practically speaking, we're told that if a Jew, for example, has a court case around the month of Adar, it's a little bit before, whatever, he should try and reschedule it to the month of Adar because the luck of the time is a little bit better that Adar is a lucky month. It's, it's uh, some positive energy taking place that month. So try and schedule your court dates to, uh, to around Adar. Likewise, of the same, you want to try and get everything out of of. So that's how we see in one, of the, what's one example of how the months play an impact. We see also with some, of, uh, some uh, concepts that are brought with regards to the Shabbos, the Friday night, astrological influence. The Ravya, one of the early Rishonim, says that the prayer, the sages instituted the prayer Magain Avos, Magain Avos, right? Everyone, is, everyone knows the song, uh, we say Friday night, was put there to protect against the influence of Ma'adim. Ma'adim is the planet Mars, the spiritual influence of the planet Mars is said to be negative. So we say the, the, the prayer, Magin Avais, to kind of counteract and defend ourselves against that negative influence at that time. The Maharil says, with regards to Friday night, the Gemara and Shabbos, the Talmud, says that when a Jew walks home Friday night, He's accompanied by two angels. One is a good angel, and one is a not good angel. When they come home, uh, and the table is set, and everything is as it should be, and everyone's friendly, and there's peace in the home, the good angel says, may it be like this next week. And the bad angel is forced to say, amen. And it's a sign that it should happen again next week. When, on the other hand, uh, you come home and everything's tumultuous and the table's not set and everyone's chasing each other or screaming at each other, the bad angel is, is, uh, says, may it, may it be like this next week, and the good angel is forced to say and concede and say, Amen. And it leads to that that should happen in the future. What the Ma'aril says is very interesting. It says that each of the mazolos, each of the, uh, the planets, the stars, um, represent a certain, uh, are representing a certain celestial energy, are representing an angel that's associated with them. He says that the good angel is, that, that's referred to in the Talmud is the mazel of Jupiter, of Tzedek, 
And the bad angel is the mazel of Ma'adim, of Mars. And so those are the two angels that are accompanying the Jewish people uh, when, they, when they're coming home Friday night. Furthermore, the Magen Avram brings down in the name of the Tikkuni Shabbos that Friday night, at the beginning of the night, if it falls, these days we don't have to worry about it so much, but when Shabbos is a little bit earlier, that the mazel of Ma'adim, this negative astrological influence, is present from around the time of 6 to 7. So the Magen Avram brings, says in the name of the Arizal, that there are those who are careful not to make Kiddush during this time. Why is it? Because you don't make Kiddush during a time where there's negative influence in the air. And in many Hasidic communities in particular, this is still practiced today, to not make Kiddush between around the time of 6 and 7. So we see that months have influence, day of the week has influence, the hour of the day has influence. The Gemara Ma'id Cotton says longevity, children, and sustenance are based on mazel, based on what star you're born under. Mazel is etymologically, in Hebrew, related to the words, the word which means to flow down. The idea of mazel is as follows. God and godliness is ultimate unified energy. It's ultimate spiritual unified energy. When God created the world, created the creation, the way in which he bestows, the way in which he reveals this energy down to the physical world is described as going through worlds. Each realm or world is a, is a grade more coarsened and able to become a physical world. So each thing in the physical world, everything in the physical universe, has a corresponding thing in the spiritual world that it embodies. So when we say the planets have, a, have an influence, we're not, we don't mean uh, what many people think that, that the actual gas planet of Jupiter or the, you know, the rock planet of, uh, of Mars is, is uh, making as any kind of uh, spiritual influence. What we're saying is their, their corresponding spiritual energy in the spiritual worlds uh, are indicated by the placement of where the planets are. Meaning if Jupiter is here, that corresponds to a certain spiritual energy happening upstairs that means this is good or this is not good. I guess one way to look at it might be um, somebody has a watch on. Now, your watch says 5 o'clock on it. Now, the hands of your, of your watch pointing at 5 o'clock doesn't make outside that the outside becomes 5 o'clock. Rather, your, the 5 o'clock on your watch indicates that it's 5 o'clock outside. It's just a sign of what's happening, on, what's happening in the world. If you're half an hour late to your meeting and you set your watch a half an hour back, that doesn't change that in the world it's actually going back in time. No, you're just, you're just fiddling with the, uh, with the sign for it. But the, the, the world remains the same way. So the, the watch is merely a sign, as a, as, a, as a symbol to us, as to what's taking place in the world. In a similar way, the planets, the stars, the astrological influences, they themselves don't have a spiritual energy, but they are showing us what spiritual energy is taking place in the upper worlds. They indicate to us what is taking place um, up, upstairs. It's actually idolatry, idol worship actually began through people misconstruing this idea. They said, well, the sun, God, well, obviously we believe in God. No problem. But God clearly delineated certain powers to the sun. The sun gives heat. The sun gives light. The sun will grow my crops. So when I want to, as a farmer, when I want to grow my crops, I'm not going to bother God. God is so removed from the situation. I'll just go directly to the sun and ask the sun to provide me with more light and more energy. When there's no sun, when it's nighttime and I want to ask the sun for something, so I can't ask, the moon's out, so instead I'm going to build a, a golden statue which will remind me of the sun, which will remind me that God is in control of the sun, which I can ask the sun now for um, extra energy to, to, to uh, make my plants grow. 
The moon controls the tides. When I, when I need some help in, in that realm, I'll ask the moon. Each star is associated with a certain energy. So I'll just ask that star for help in this, in this particular situation. Before you know it, you know, when children see, oh, daddy's praying to the sun again, so they, eventually God is dropped from the picture and people are just worshipping the sun. And eventually just worshipping uh, figures of the sun. Either uh, totem poles or, or golden statues of the celestial objects. And uh, God is completely dropped from the picture. So we always have to remember as Jews that God is in control of everything. The, 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 the stars, even, the, even though astrological influence is, uh, does have truth to it, that God really runs the show over here. The, the stars are just indicators of a certain energy that's uh, taking place.